Here's a video of someone else that someone else got of the initial altercation with uh, the driver that hit protesters. So as you can see. Two of the people on the side of the car get flung off. So that's interesting information. Um, and then, of course, at this point is where I start my recording of them hitting the protester in the bike. That's what I saw. Hey. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, y'all get out of the way! T-E-T, she hit! All right. Um, that's fucking crazy, man. Like, that's, like, you know, that's fucking crazy. Hey. Hit. That's crazy. That's out of control. Also, apparently they got charged. Let's read this. Okay. Two women were hit by a car. While protesting uh, a police killing in Elizabeth City on Monday, police said. Uh, I would also like to, again, like, you know, state that there was someone on the bike that was also hit by the car. Like, they weren't necessarily injured, but I'm just throwing that out there. So, Michelle Morris and Valerie Lindsay, uh, both were 42, were hit by a car driven by 41-year-old Lisa O'Kin, O'Quinn of Greenville, according to an Elizabeth City police statement. I want to remind everyone that we found her Facebook page and it's got Confederate flags all over it, so I'm just throwing that out there. The two women who are black were peacefully protesting at around 6.45 p.m. when they were hit, police said. They were treated at a hospital and released. O'Quinn, who is white, is charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill by the use of a motor vehicle, one count of careless and reckless driving, and one count of unsafe movement. Demonstrations have been held regularly since April 21st shooting of Andrew Brown Jr., who was killed as he sought to drive away from police county deputies, uh, Pasquotank County deputies. The officers were serving a search and arrest warrants that accused Brown of possessing... Blah, 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 blah. The department said it isn't... So it doesn't mention that they shot Andrew Brown because he drove his car. What the fuck are you doing, ABC News? What the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ. So again, look at the contrast. Andrew Brown Jr. was shot and killed because they said he was driving a car and that's assault with a deadly weapon. This person was not shot and killed. What? 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 Sorry, I don't buy that shit. No, 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 no. Apparently there's a... Oh my God. Is this real? Okay, check this out. Check this out. Date, March 25th. So, okay, okay, so this is the office of, like, I, you're talking about, like, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are incompetent. Date, March 25th. Bitch, March 25th was, like, fucking two months ago. What the hell are you doing? March fucking 25th? What are you doing? Like, I'm serious. Like, what are you doing? Like, I, I don't, like, what is that? March 25th, bitch. On Monday, May 24th, this is a May 24th or the March 24th, at approximately 6.45 p.m., the Elizabeth City Police Department is currently investigating a motor vehicle crash that took place at the intersection of Erringhaus and Griffin, where a motorist struck two pedestrians who were peacefully protesting and exercising their constitutional rights. The victims were identified as Michelle Fleming Morris of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and Valerie Lindsay of Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Miss Morris and Miss Lindsay were transported to Centara Albemarle Hospital by EMS, where they were treated and released for non-life-threatening injuries. The motorist was taken into custody by members of the Elizabeth City Police Department and identified as Lisa Michelle O'Quinn, WF, I don't know what that means, 41 years old, of Greenville, North Carolina. Lisa Michelle O'Quinn was charged with two felonious uh, counts of assault with a deadly weapon and intent to kill by use of a motor vehicle, one count of careless and reckless, and one count of unsafe movement. Miss uh, O'Quinn was processed and confined at the Albemarle District Jail uh, with a $40,000 secured bond and a forced, first court appearance on Thursday, May 27th. The police department is currently investigating this matter, and we will be presenting facts and findings in this case to include personal, or rather potential aggravating factors for criminal enhancements for potential sentencing purposes of a hate crime involving this event. All right, good. Are you going to fucking say sorry? Are you going to fucking say sorry? Are they going to fucking say sorry? Because I'm not interested until they fucking say sorry. Like, again, I want to be very honest. You don't fucking, you don't, 
praise cops for doing their job. Like, I want to be very clear here. Is it good they're doing their job? Yes. Is it their job? Yes. Right? They don't get praised for doing their fucking job. Good. Do your fucking job, bitch. Do it more. Continue doing it. That's my response. Eddie Buffalo, by the way, where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you? I've seen you zero times at these protests. Where the fuck are you? How come you're letting your little fucking lapdog Aaron boys fucking Felton and fucking Avins do the fucking work for you? Buffalo. Buffalo, more like fucking bitchalo, you fucking loser. What the fuck? Where are you? Why are you afraid of us, Buffalo, you fucking loser? Where's the goddamn fucking apology? You don't get fucking praise for fucking stocking the shelves on time. You don't get fucking praise for delivering the pizza in 29 minutes, right? What the fuck? Why do you fucking want praise for doing your fucking job as a police officer, bitch motherfucker? I'm not doing that shit. Fuck you. Fuck you in the goddamn face. Fuck you in the goddamn motherfucking face, Buffalo. Anyway, it's good that they're getting fucked over, though. And again, one of these people's Facebook pages had Confederate flags all over it. So just throwing that out there. Fuck them straight to hell. Why? Oh, but by the way, they were of Greenville. Why were people from Greenville in fucking Elizabeth City? It's almost like they were looking for fucking trouble. And then again, I want to remind everyone, Officer motherfucking Parr, let them go. I will not, I will not forget about Officer Parr's actions. He is criminally liable. He is culpable for what happened. He saw that they were angry. He saw that they wanted to drive into the crowd and let them do it. Motherfucking, motherfucking, motherfuckers, right? You know, I'm just like, I'm sick of these motherfuckers. Like, I fucking, if you're not going to charge Officer Parr, then you're not fucking doing your fucking job, you bitch motherfucker bitch. I'm telling you this right now. I'm, and again, if these ass fuckers want to come out here and tell me, oh, unless you say sorry, I'm not interested. If you want to come out here and say blah, 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 this and that, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, until you fucking say sorry, okay? That's all I'm interested in. That's all I'm fucking interested in is an apology. From Buffalo, from Evans, from Felton, from James, from fucking Williams, from fucking Laporte, all these motherfuckers. Where's our apology? And all those I can't fucking name because they hide their fucking name tags like little fucking cowardly beta male bitches. Fucking motherfuckers. Fuck them in the face. I hate them all. I like, I'm telling you this right now. I hate them fucking all. They're all garbage. They're all shit. And uh, that's it. That's the segment.